Side Focus by Pai Patrika. First of all, congratulations to all of you for winning Ideathon competition. We'll like to like know about your ideas and how you ca- came up with those ideas. Maybe we can start with Sira. Hi. So I'm Sira. Uh, I'm from uh, VIT University. So uh, I belong to the Center for Biomaterials um, Molecular Theranostics. Um, so uh, we are a group of three that are team co-audience. So we have, uh, we, we, we work under a common PI, that's Dr. Amit Kumar Jaiswal. Um, so besides, uh, so we happen to have these weekly meetings where we give our research updates. So, um, so during these meetings, not only we talk about our research, but our PI, Dr. Amit, encourages us to come up with new ideas. We like just do some brainstorm, come up with like, you know, random ideas, look up at what updated work is going on. So that's how we mainly came up with this one idea. So me, Divya, and Anupama had like a common interest in wound healing, and we were like brainstorming ideas. And Arthur has an expertise in um, soft and hard tissue engineering, so he also gave us an input. So we developed the idea and uh, we started working on it. We started seeing sort of promising results, and that's when we thought, okay, so uh, this, um, in fact, this competition was also suggested to us by one of our faculties who belong to our centers. So meanwhile, we had an idea in hand and. We had the results also coming up, so we thought, okay, why not go ahead and present this at the event and let's see how, you know, what like what the uh, input is about it. So that that's the whole scenario. And uh, when we presented, it was really good. Um, the video recording, all that was like, it was very nice. It was quite challenging because given two minutes, you need to explain your entire work, your entire idea, convince the audience. So that was quite challenging. That was good for us. And when we presented, we... Um, uh, the judges gave us very insightful advice, uh, really good uh, advice. And the overall, it was a very well-organized event. That good to know, like uh, your lab environment is so good that you have courage, get new ideas and even explore those ideas and uh, participate in this Ideathon, which are, I'll say, like best platforms where you can get inputs on your thoughts mm-hmm. and maybe you could like uh, develop those uh, ideas into some prototype or uh, something which could go to market. Divya, what's your thought on this? Yeah, uh, I am Divya Anandan. Uh, of course, I belong to the same team. I work with uh, Dr. Amit Kumar Jaiswal, who is my uh, principal investigator. And uh, my area of expertise is uh, uh, fabrication of uh, three dimensional bone tumor models uh, and bone tissue engineering. So, uh, of course, as Sira said, we have this uh, weekly research update meetings and uh, uh, that is where we came up with this idea and other ideas as well, where uh, earlier which we won sec- third prize for the uh, Ideaton competition in Reva University. So, that was another idea which was completely different from what we presented right here in this Ideaton competition. So, such ideas keep popping up and we have uh, good uh, good facilities and infrastructure all with inside our uh, university and institute uh, our center research center cdcmt so we get to play with we get to uh, explore a lot of things fabricate characterize those uh, those materials biomaterials uh, and we have um, good uh, faculties who help us with uh, any any um, uh, they'll just help us with any ideas or comments. They give good insightful comments. Uh, so it's like, uh, so that's how we came up with this idea specifically. So this research, this idea was based on uh, uh, making a fibrous hemostatic material to uh, help, which helps in uh, immediate coagulation, immediate blood uh, st- stopping of stoppage of blood flow during uh, liver transplantation uh, liver transplantation surgery. So um, this idea where we uh, initially started with a, a biomaterial, which is just useful for wounding, wound healing applications, which is electrospun basically. Electrospinning has uh, been a very uh, old technique since we have been using in textile engineering and several other fields where we have to uh, just electrospun a material and we use um, a bio-inspired material along with this to uh, bring up this product. So this product is still in, in development where we will have to do a lot of chemical modifications and characterizations to come up with a final product which is of uh, market value. 
so this is how uh, we are right now in the stage of this product development and we are looking forward to how this product comes up to me i think you guys are doing great shresha like you worked on something which normally people just consume uh, for good health so would you like to share like uh, about your idea and how you came up with it and how was your experience um yeah, sure um so i'm shisha um i i i did my masters from uh, pondicherry university in uh, biochemistry and molecular biology so um on a like on a random day uh, one of my friends uh, sent me this uh, poster of idea thon so uh, this the idea of uh, uh, you know producing a uh, urolithin uh, no uh, i had this idea quite a uh, like few months back when i uh, saw some uh, news feed on uh, like uh, how pomegranate can uh, enhance our uh, gut health and uh, overall uh, health so i had that idea uh, so uh, because like uh, when uh, uh, so i i got to know that uh, this gut microbiome plays a major role in uh, you know uh, the overall health of a of a person uh, and uh, so uh, these uh, prebiotic foods how these prebiotic foods can help uh, the health of the gut microbiome so uh well in in my childhood whenever i used to uh, have a stomach pain or something my uh, mom used to give me uh, a paste made from uh, this pomegranate peel so after having that peel i used to i used to feel better so from that i i got this idea that uh, you know uh, from uh, that also i can uh, look up uh, like oh, what is the uh, reason like i used to feel better after eating uh, you know that paste so uh, uh, i had that idea in my mind and uh, then i i saw that uh, there is this compound urolithin a uh, which which is produced by uh, gut microbiome after uh, a person eats uh, foods like pomegranate or uh, a walnut or something like that so i i researched on that and uh, like i found out uh, how exactly it works and uh, stuff so i ha- i kind of had that idea so after that on a, like on a random day uh, my friend sent me this uh, uh, poster of idea thon uh, uh, for me to like just he suggested me to participate uh, it's in iac and uh, i used to stay in bangalore so he told me you can participate and stuff so i thought uh, like i wouldn't participate i would just uh, register for the symposium uh, then i registered and uh, i i simply just told him that uh, uh, i have this kind of uh, like a small idea uh, which i don't think it's not that uh, great, good of an idea so uh, he told uh, like uh, it's fine it's really uh, good uh, it, you should uh, do it so after that i i uh, like started researching about you know uh, exactly how exactly uh, this molecule works and uh, how exactly it is produced in the in gut and stuff so uh, i researched and i i found some some uh, data so based on that uh, so i presented the video and uh, answered the few questions which was asked in the uh, for the uh, prelim uh, preliminary uh, round so i i was i never thought i would get uh, like selected or some like uh, like that so after like when i found out i got selected i was like oh, like what this can't be happening so so once i got selected i had a, like uh, uh three four days uh, to like dig deep into the topic and uh, prepare the presentation and stuff so uh, like after that i uh, searched everywhere uh, like all the literature databases like uh, how how the um uh, how this molecule is uh, exactly uh, you know uh, uh ma- is is there a, a marketing of this molecule or uh, something like that 
so i found out there is a um, there is a company uh, which uh, which is which is marketing this compound uh, and uh, uh, and i searched how how this company uh, synthesized this compound so i searched a lot but i couldn't find uh, anything uh, i just googled it so i couldn't find anything on that uh, there were some uh, uh, chemical uh, chemical methods uh, uh, of synthesis but uh, it was quite uh, costly and uh, like getting that final product was quite uh, uh, you know uh, pure product was quite difficult so i thought so uh, this is how i can uh, like uh, target so i um, i thought looking at the how how much the cost of the uh, product w- would be and comparing uh, comparing it with my my product uh, which i am proposing uh, it would be a better uh, approach so after that i just uh, so uh, what is the price and uh, how much uh, how much it would cost in india uh, and stuff like that and i prepared and presented great great yeah it's good to know the roots of your idea like they went back to some some of your like childhood memories right so yeah and yeah the way then you developed your idea you researched about like how you could like make it into something in future so definitely like congratulations to you nipun um hello everyone hi uh nipun first of all congratulations for winning first prize in ideathon and thank you yeah we would like to know about your idea and how you came up with it and what you are planning to do with it in future yeah okay so myself nipun and i did my bachelor's in biotechnology field and currently i am doing a phd in iisc only i had so i know about the broad topic in i which i want to work like this in vitro disease modeling since it is our main theme of the lab is tissue engineering and in vitro disease modeling so just after a few months after joining the lab i came to know that in which field i want to work so regarding the choice of disease to be chosen like i have chosen it this as the idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis which is an interstitial lung disease so as i said i came from delhi and delhi is we known for pollution like for a massive amount and the world's most polluted city like articles came every year about that and this disease that i have chosen the pulmonary fibrosis the pollutants the air pollutants are one of the main causes that cause this disease so i knew that i want to do work in this model only so then i went to the hospital and have some hospital tie ups as well like how doctors would help us in getting access to patient samples after their concern only and then we could take forward this research and uh, after going through multiple seminars in the institute only i came to know about the world leaders who are currently trying to do this models organ on a chip models and then i found that they have their own limitations like no model is completely perfect as of now and this disease has no available therapeutic options as well there are only certain limited medicines available but that can only delay the effect and cannot permanently cure and organ transplantation is not just something that everyone in the world or in india can afford and there is not available and there is always like shortage of donors as well so it begins as a clinical need to find a model that would act as a drug testing platform and that is where we are currently proceeding in so regarding this ideathon event i came to know it about the campus posters only and i when i passed through the initial screening i it was a very moment of joy and then things went well accordingly it was not as much planned as it may seem but just going with the flow no that's that's great and looks like yeah, your lab is doing great and i think in future definitely we need more research particularly like when it comes to indian setup where we might not be able to afford expensive uh, options which might be available abroad anupama welcome back so anupama what was your experience uh, during the event and could you tell us more about the event yeah sure sure sir so basically we came to know about this uh, ideathon program just two days before the deadline 
So uh, I think uh, Miss Sira would have told you about the idea that we had and we were we three were working on. So since we had the idea prior, we thought we'll use this idea and uh, try to know where we actually stand. So uh, not only with the focus of winning the competition, we just need to know some reviews and get com comments on the ideas that we have in the startup point of view. So for now we have uh, uh, guidance and uh, uh, continuous support in the research point of view, but in the startup point of view, we require good suggestions from imminent persons working in that. So uh, yeah, we uh, did the presentations uh, for the preliminary round. So, uh, so we were happy that we got selected and we were one among the top eight teams. So uh, after that, we had to make one uh, pe uh, presentation. And for that, we were asked to make a name. So three of us, we did some uh, long discussion and we ended up with the team name of the coagulants. So the, the word coagulants, it just means that a substance that hel helps the blood to clot. So which is the primary uh, focus of our patch that we had. So uh, we ended up with that name. And after that, we did the presentation. And after presentation, we were quite satisfied because we got good number of comments, uh, uh, which is focused more on the marketing strategy and the revenues. Uh, and uh, we are very much thankful to the judges for giving all those valuable comments so that we can work on that part of it uh, to uh, take our product from bench side to bed side. Um, so after that, adding on all this joy, we, are, we were also declared uh, as the uh, winners, uh, I mean, the second place winners, which make, made us even more happier. And uh, we would like to thank IAC for giving us this opportunity. And we also get continuous support from our guide, Dr. Amitmar Jaiswal. Uh, he's, he's the professor in Center for Biomaterials, Cellular and Molecular Diagnostics. And uh, um, yeah, and we are thankful to our professor, Dr. Gita Manivasagam, who is the director for the same center. Uh, uh, they not only support us for the research, research point of view, but they also uh, encourage us to take part in all those events, which makes us uh, and gi gives us more exposure. Congratulations to all of you. Uh, I would like to know about like what you will advise to students who might think of participating in ideathons like this in future. Yeah, if I can answer to this, when I was doing my undergraduate and postgraduate uh, degrees, uh, we were not aware of such ideathon competitions. Uh, since I uh, I graduated my uh, postgraduate degree in 2012, so it's almost 11 years back, which uh, at those times, there were never ideathon competitions or any other such com. We just had simple poster paper presentations, and that requires a lot of data and a lot of research, a lot of data to be presented. Uh, but at such ideathon competitions, which are very uh, motivating for, uh, for students who just have ideas and who are just in the initial stages where they have not started with anything, but then the ideas are just there. And there are people to help us, motivate us with uh, uh, coming up with this, like how can we uh, develop these ideas into proper uh, projects and products. So I would say that uh, such competitions, if, there are, if, if they happen at a, a very frequent uh, interval um, and, and almost at all institutes, uh, it would be really uh, helpful for uh, researchers or uh, young students uh, to develop and to think in an innovative manner, in a creative manner to uh, bring up good results, good projects. And uh, this will lead to more products which can enter the market too. Yeah, I think those are like good thoughts and they will also motivate students to do yeah. something which makes like some sense to them many times yes. like i understand you keep on doing experiments and you see you are not going anywhere but yeah yes. participating in these events like give you a sense that okay you can do something which has some market value yes that's right so any other thoughts uh, which you like to share about like ideathon in general or event 
uh, at ISC which you participated in? I would like to add in this like events like this helps us in pre preparing how to pitch for a product. And that is very much different to give a scientific presentation in the different community of background. So it greatly helps in like, and then the, the comments that we get from judges can help us in developing an idea in more refined way and leads to more advanced models like that. Yeah, that's correct. Like uh, you get idea how you can pitch even uh, your PhD projects, right? So, because most of the time, the way like we approach is like, it's too scientific, but when it comes to pitching a product or an idea, that's completely different way. So you learn from these uh, competitions that how you can even like improve your science communication and that could help you like in getting more benefits through your even PhD degree. Thank you all of you for joining. Thank you, thank you so much.